Walter was the director of the Institute for Theoretical Physics in Santa Barbara when I was offered a postdoctoral position there. Um, and that opportunity uh, was life-changing. It was a marvelous time in Santa Barbara. Uh, there were fantastic faculty uh, to learn from. There were uh, a great collection of other students and postdocs around. There was a, a spirit to the place that I think Walter had a lot to do with shaping that said that theoretical physics was one big ambitious enterprise and we were supposed to be interested in all of it. Um, it was also a, a special pleasure for me because uh, my wife had known Walter when she was a kid growing up in, in La Jolla and uh, so it was nice to reconnect as a, as a family friend and, um, and Walter also set a, a standard for all of us as a, um, a scholar and a gentleman, something one doesn't get a chance to say very often anymore. As Walter knows, I go way back. Walter uh, was the person at when I was an undergraduate in 1954-55 at Carnegie Tech who advised me to go to Birmingham, who gave me a special course in quantum mechanics so that I could go as a, uh, as a thesis student and set me off in a, a wonderful direction there. It was also Walter with whom who, more or less brought me back to Carnegie Tech in 1958, uh, who then left for La Jolla, but brought me to Santa Barbara as part of his new Institute for Theoretical Physics, who set the standards of how we were going to do things at, at the Institute for Theoretical Physics, very much consistent with what we both had learned from Rudolf Parles in Birmingham about how to help young people grow as scientists uh, interacting with each other, being interested in a broad range of science, being willing to make mistakes, and also just having fun doing research uh, and, uh, and, help, and uh, helping the progress of, of human knowledge. So I thank Walter very, very much for all that. Uh, I wish he were here. I expect to be seeing him soon back in Santa Barbara, uh, and uh, we want him to to make sure that he understands how much we appreciate his long and important contribution to, to the world of science. I had two times with uh, Walter. The first was when I was a postdoc in Paris in the uh, beginning 60s, and we did uh, some work together which turned out to be extremely uh, important and was the basis of his Nobel Prize and the basis of by far my most cited paper and this is of course was very important for me in my career and uh, the time with him was uh, quite interesting and unforgettable. Uh, but uh, then uh, and the, the part that I think is more relevant to uh, the, the present occasion is that uh, Walter uh, invited me to come and create a program at the newly founded Institute for Theoretical Physics in 1981 with Jim Langer. And I wanted to say a few words about that. Walter had also a prior history with Jim since he was a uh, a mentor of Jim's as an undergraduate at Carnegie Tech and then uh, uh, a uh, continuing uh, mentor and collaborator of Jim's and uh, in, in the 50s and 60s and then in uh, 1981 he brought both of us to Santa Barbara together and we, uh, I felt that uh, under his uh, guidance and, and leadership, Jim and I created a, a wonderful research program, so much so that uh, Walter was able to attract Jim to Santa Barbara. So my uh, relationship with Walter is very much tied to my relationship with Jim Langer, so it's quite appropriate that on th this particular occasion I note it with uh, 
pleasure and nostalgia and also note, and this I feel very sincerely, how much we, number one, miss Walter and how much we think about him on this occasion. I left uh, Institute of Theoretical Physics in Santa Barbara um, 30 years ago. I was a postdoc there for three years and uh, Walter impacted my life in many ways. First of all, uh, he was the director of the Institute and set the tone of the Institute that was truly remarkable. He was modeled on a European uh, style and that meant that all sorts of discussion could go on. Uh, the things I remember very fondly are the uh, blackboard seminars, the lunchtime Monday blackboard seminars with a brown bag lunch where people just got up and just, just talked and those were absolutely fantastic. I gave several of those myself. I remember once giving such a talk to an audience that included five past and future Nobel laureates, which was an interesting experience for a young postdoc. But uh, Walter, of course, uh, helped me in my career enormously in a trivial way, in a sense. Um, he was one of my letter writers when I uh, left uh, Institute for Theoretical Physics, uh, so his letter helped get my job, which uh, ended up being uh, uh, getting me into to the top condensed matter physics department in the country where I had a very productive and wonderful career. So of course I owe him that, but much more deeply than that is the science and the high quality and the, the sort of questioning and the freewheeling attitude that I learnt from him and the, and the way that he set that up at the Institute for Theoretical Physics with this cohort of really great postdocs in many different fields of physics where we could all learn from each other. So it was an incredibly stimulating time. Now the other thing that he uh, helped me with in my life, made a huge impact on my life, for which I'm always grateful, was I, as a human being. Uh, he, he set up a thing called the Santa Barbara Study Group, which I attended. It was a small group of people who at that time were concerned about the threat of nuclear annihilation, uh, the Cold War, uh, cruise missiles in Europe. And, um, and we met regularly and we ended up even writing a little pamphlet about uh, nuclear weapons and, and, uh, and the careers of scientists and engineers. And it greatly impressed me that um, such a great scientist as Walter was uh, uh, at the same time involved in social activism and you know, very important uh, issues of the day and, uh, and that it was our duty as a scientist not to just be quiet, not to just do our work, but to, but to also be involved. And so I learned how to be a good citizen, an involved citizen and an activist, partly as a result of the environment he created and the leadership and example uh, that he set. When I came to Santa Barbara as a graduate student, uh, soon after I became a teaching assistant for Walter Cohn's courses. One was a graduate course in solid state physics, which I had to sit in on because it was taught, he taught it in a very different way than I'd had before. I learned a tremendous amount uh, and many of the skills I developed and the ways of thinking from that class I continue to use in my everyday professional life today. I also was his TA for a course on nuclear disarmament, which at that time was a very hot political issue. I learned once again quite a lot from him about that and about science policy and about the responsibility of those of us who are scientists to get involved in the public discussion of scientifically relevant topics. I should let you know, you may, uh, Walter, that you may be amused that these days I teach a graduate course in solid state physics, very similar to what you were teaching then, and I'm teaching a course on climate change to try and educate our, our students about decisions and that they themselves should make towards being viable global citizens. So in that sense, I'm using the knowledge that I learned from both courses that I uh, that I taught with you um, in my everyday life. Of course, I've benefited tremendously from our discussions and also from reading your many papers. So, many thanks.